Well, it's amazing what you can find in the garden down the end there. Cucumbers, peppers, mint, um, lettuce, beans, garlic, tomatoes, fig tree, rhubarb, gooseberries, strawberries. But come this way. And now we're talking, you can also find <clears throat> a mast and a rig under construction. So here we are, it's the 15th of July. And this update is going to concentrate on the on Ming Ming 2's rig. Because we've been making progress. Here's the mast. My aluminium municipal lamppost which is now, apart from fitting the masthead fitting, is all ready to go. Um, it's had a total of nine coats of two-pot paint, um, four or five into protect, two or three perfection undercoat, and two coats of perfection top coat. So, uh, and all in this grey so-called platinum colour. So the mast is almost finished come over here this long um, bit of wood here which is actually two pieces of two by one laminated together is the boom this was laminated yesterday just had a coat of epoxy first coat of epoxy on it um, the non non junk rig sailors may think god that's a very small boom but junk rig doesn't need a heavy boom at all, it doesn't read any, in theory, any more than a normal batten. And over here is the first um, gluing session of the of the yard. Um, I did think about using fancy timber, getting spruce or Douglas fir or God knows what, but it's horrendously expensive. Would have had to be delivered and all the rest of it. So I just went down to the local. Travis Perkins selected the best bits of pine I could find and uh, here we are so I don't suppose you can really see much but um, except clamps there but I'd imagine in, in about another two or three days this would be looking like a proper junk rigged yard again that's uh, this is three by one um, laminated but it'll also have another central um, lamination just in the the real stress point in the in the middle however you think what's the use of a boom and a yard if you haven't got a sail so it's a very exciting day here because this is the first time that I've actually laid out Ming Ming 2's sail on the lawn here, put the battens roughly in and had a proper look at it. I actually made the sail um, over Christmas on the dining table of my flat in London. It's made of Odyssey 3 material, all triple sewn, um, very heavily taped and again triple sewn all around the uh, the leech and the tack and so on. Just take a bit of a walk around and have a look. It's a Hasler type sail. Um, seven panels this one. Ming Ming's insignia at the top. Get quite a nice view if we come down here. There she is, about 280 square feet. But of course the big question when you make a junk rig sail these days is are you going to make it flat or are you going to put any draft in it? Well, the answer to that uh, in the case of this sail is yes, it has got draft in it. And the sail is actually a little bit unusual. I call it my triple H sail. That's my 
um, horizontally hinged hybrid sail. That's what it goes under the name of. The reason it's called hybrid is because the top four panels of the sail are pretty conventional junk rig. I have built in some draft into those panels uh, but not an excessive amount because this is my storm canvas there's very little draft in the top two just a little bit of draft um, just broad seamed into the to the next two panels um, but then we come to the horizontal hinges because the the bottom three panels of the sail are actually separate they're not joined it was, wasn't possible for me to actually sew the whole sail in such a small area would have got absolutely impossible to manage it but also I fancied the idea of having three bottom panels that I could take off play around with and so on and so forth now these do have quite a bit of draft in, built into them but not in a conventional way you, you can sort of see the the hinges on there it's like a, a big piano hinge that the pattern goes through but each hinge um, is a slightly different um, size so it allows me to build some draft in. I've only got one hand here but if I lift, lift that up you can start to see that uh, the hinges there actually do build quite a considerable amount of draft and as we go down the sail there's an increasing amount of draft so the bottom panel um, you can see the hinge at this end is really very wide indeed and then it gradually they gradually um, reduce as we get to the get to the leech um, again if I just hold the, the tack a little bit you can start to see um, so for light weather uh, should be quite a powerful sail once I get the uh, the bottom three panels going or any one of them really any two of them any three of them um, and even the you can see that the again the um, tabs that attach it to the boom are of different lengths to create an aerodynamic shape so be interesting to see how it goes you can see that the, the battens are actually carbon fiber decided finally to go for that um, this is my engine after all and uh, it's got to be reliable so I've gone for what I think gives you the the greatest um, weight for strength ratio um, so there we are it's all a little bit experimental, but that's okay. Um, but it is designed in such a way that the, the experimental bit, which is the, the bottom three sevenths of the sail, um, can be altered very easily if necessary. Don't have to unpick a whole sail or anything like that. But I actually think it might be, it might be quite successful. But that's going to be a matter of time. Um, probably another month or two, well, at least another month or two before we before we find that out. Haven't quite cut these um, battens to, to the correct. If they're almost right, but they probably need a little bit um, trimming off them. You may also notice if we come back up the sail that the top batten is actually a bigger section than the than the others. This is my storm canvas of course these these top two panels so um, I need to get maximum strength there you also notice you can see those little three black tabs sewn in that's so that if necessary I can lash battens together or lash um, if I do break a batten I've got the wherewithal for putting splints in or whatever um, yeah, so it's quite exciting to see the sail all laid out. I retreat a little bit, we might be able to get the whole thing in one single shot. So I'm just about 
in the kitchen there. Well, not quite, but almost. So that's Ming Ming's two sail and rig. Kind of conventional, but with uh, with a few twists. Hopefully, there'll be twists of the of the right kind.